what's going on guys and welcome back to the Repster, where movies and entertainment are our reputation. So Freaky was directed by Christopher Landon and stars Catherine Newton and Vince Vaughn. And it follows the story of a young high school girl who after swapping bodies with a deranged serial killer discovers that she only has less than 24 hours before the change becomes permanent. This movie has Freaky Friday written all over it. Of course, it came from the concept of the Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan film, which I've not seen in a while, but it does have that concept in it, sprinkled with loads of horror and comedy. I guess you could also call this film Freaky Friday the 13th, Body Swap, which brings me to the positive, of course, the concept. It was a very interesting concept. And I love the fact that this girl switches bodies after almost getting killed and wakes up in this person's other body, in this deranged serial killer's body, which makes the comic element all the more greater. Because the way Vince Vaughn would play that character, it was just hilarious. Hill, Hill, Blissfield, I feel our glory and our might. Oh my God! Like him or slash her trying to convince her friends that it's me, Millie, it's me, which was the character's name in the film. It's me. <laughs> and all the things that he had to do and do that cheer that you clearly see in the trailer, it was it was hilarious. It was very intriguing. Like I said, the whole Freaky Friday vibe, it really worked. It really brought this film out to shine. And it had a lot of Friday 13 elements in there too. It even had a day count as well. Without giving too much away, it had a day count in the first act, which I liked as well. And by the time it got to Friday the 13th, when that popped up on the screen, I was like, <laughs> that's when shit went down. <laughs> as I said, Vince Vaughn was hilarious. Once the body swap happens and all that crazy crap went down, that's where the comedic element really shined through this film. And Vince Vaughn, I've always considered him as a comedic, very bright and a very good, talented comedic actor and that's what he brought to this film which is unique because it does have a lot of horror elements in it as well but Vince Vaughn really brought the comedic element out too. Catherine Newton once the switch happens she was a very convincing as a serial killer and just like with Alexandra Daddario like I mentioned before in the other review I did with her film it's all in the eyes. Catherine Newton she had a look of a serial killer in her eyes in her performance once that happened and she was very convincing the dynamic that she had playing this character really worked for her and i thought it was a perfect casting choice she did a really great performance i can't wait to kill you concepts like this getting fresh off of happy death day both the happy death day movies which was which also had comedic elements as well as horror but not as hardcore as this which i'll get into later Christopher Landon is really making his mark in this genre. I'm telling you, I think that man can go places once this crap clears up with the pandemic. But Christopher Landis, I think he's a really good director. He's done this film justice, just like he did with the Happy Death Day films, both of them. I think he's going places. With Freaky, he created something unique. Yes, it was a concept kind of from a, another film, but he adds horror elements. And you can tell that this man is a fan of horror because it had a lot of Friday the 13th vibes in it. It had a lot of maybe mixed in with Halloween and definitely the slasher vibe, which is what I love. For those of you who follow my channel and follow me on Facebook, uh -huh, you know how much love I have for the slasher genre. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but this man knows how to balance it out. He knows how to balance the comedy element along with the horror element. And I gotta talk about the first 10 or 15 minutes. Don't worry, this is a spoiler-free review. I will not give anything away, but let's just say I was hooked. As soon as this film started, all sorts of things was going through my mind, such as, and it was the perfect cliche that you always see in horror films, especially starting off. You know, Friday the 13th, Halloween, even Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It had a bunch of elements in this film that, yeah, I love. I freaking love. <laughs> so as I said, the first 10 or 15 minutes of it, I was hooked. I was so hooked that I couldn't even take my eyes off it to squint, to blink. Which brings me to the gore. 
Unlike Happy Death Day, those films revolved around dying and then coming back, reliving the experience. So there wasn't much need for the gore. Of course, those were PG-13 films. This is a hardcore R-rated film. R-rated horror slash comedy film. So you'll have a few F-bombs here and there. No big deal. But the gore... Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's where it shined as a true horror film and a slasher. It was very tastefully done. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. It was perfect. The MPAA, like, like I said in my past reviews, were hard on slasher films back in the day, back in the 80s and nine, uh, somewhat in the 90s. But now, you can get away with anything. <laughs> this film was beautifully shot, choreographed you know, perfectly, and certain camera angles. And if I'm not mistaken, and this may be a little bit of a spoiler, but not too much, but there was a shot of the clock tower that I think was shown in both Happy Death Day movies, the one that she would always wake up to after getting killed in those films. I think it's the same one. And I wouldn't be surprised because it is the same filmmakers, or at least the same director anyway. But, you know, there was a shot of that same clock tower and I thought that was pretty good. It was like a, a send-off to Happy Death Day. But it was choreographed pretty good. The lighting and the cinematography and all that was shot pretty good. And let's get into the negatives. As much as I love this film, I did feel like it dragged on a little bit during that second act. Even though there was a kill here, kill there, there was some dialogue and some scenes that I kind of felt like they could have cut out. Despite that, despite the negatives I just threw out, the film was great. Not perfect, but great. And still totally worth the price of admission. Either if you want to see it in theaters or if you want to wait until it streams, doesn't matter. You'll have a good time. Freaky combines the right amount of horror, comedy, and fun. Despite its draggy second act, it's still a fun ride and a sweet delight. So, Freaky, what did you think of it? Have you seen it yet? Did you like the whole concept of the Freaky Friday mixed in with horror, or did you not? Leave me a comment down below and give me your thoughts. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace the rep out.